A key measure for success of entrepreneurs, as we've seen at MIT, is the ability to select a market and then to be disciplined and deselect other markets. As much as everybody would love to attack everything at once and try and solve every problem in the world, it doesn't make any sense to do that. You have to focus on one specific market. As an entrepreneur, as someone trying to run their own business, it's really, really important that you not only select your beachhead market, but select it for strategic reasons, meet your long-term vision. It's got to be difficult as a young, ambitious entrepreneur who sees a world of possibility to deselect some markets. Was that hard for you? Yeah, it's very psychologically taxing, in fact. When you're, you, you think there's an answer you want to hear, and you're working really hard to get that answer that you want, but then you know, the data is just showing you something completely contradictory to what you want to hear. And it's really difficult to accept that you are wrong, but you've got to just do it if you want to be successful. Think of it this way, and this is how I explain it to my students. You're out there and you're trying to catch a rabbit. Do you try to catch three rabbits at once? If you try to catch three at once, you'll end up catching no rabbits. Try to catch one rabbit at a time and you'll be much more successful. The way we go about this is, like I said, from a systems perspective, thinking about we, what we can and cannot feasibly accomplish. Part of what we did to segment this market down, looking at the, the education, the aerospace, the healthcare markets, is looking at what has the most layers of complexity. So the ones that have the most regulatory compliances are the ones that we didn't want to get involved in. For instance, if you're looking at creating anything in the medical device space, you have to go through FDA approval. That we immediately cross off the list because although that might be the money winner down the road, that's not what's going to get our foot in the door and get our brand any recognition. Same thing looking at aerospace. There's only a few companies in the aerospace industry, maybe a few dozen in the world. It's really difficult to break into those markets. And when you can, you've just landed a really big client but until that day, you have no clients. So we ax that one from the list as well. Well, by the rule of deselection, we've come to the realization that you've selected education as your market. Tell us about this decision. Yeah, so we selected education because I see 3D printing as being a totally generational thing. And that's really where 3D printing is going to break into the mainstream of the world, is when we've trained the next generation of inventors and thinkers on how to actually think in the context of this new technology. Now you'll ask, what if AJ and NVBots chooses the wrong beachhead market? What you want to do is if it's going to fail, fail quickly, eliminate that option and focus on the other ones that are higher potential. Action will produce real data and that data will tell you whether your market, your beachhead market, will or will not be viable.